Catholic Christian Outreach is a national student movement dedicated to evangelizing. CCO challenges young adults to live in the fullness of the Catholic faith with a strong emphasis on building leaders for the renewal of the world. Catholic Christian Outreach was founded in 1988 by André and Angèle Renier in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Today, there are full-time CCO missionaries serving on 10 university campuses across the country. When I came to Queen's, I was really excited to get involved with CCO because I thought it would be a great courage in my faith and meet other young Catholics. What I didn't know is that through CCO, I would learn and come to live out what Pope John Paul II called the supreme duty of every believer in Christ and of the Church, and that is to proclaim Christ to all people. Through the witness of the CCO missionaries, I realized that evangelization is not just something that I like to do, but it is my duty as a baptized Catholic to share my faith with others. CCO's mission is based on the five founding tenets of the movement. University is a critical time for young men and women. Unfortunately, it's a time when many students drift away from their faith. University students are asking the big questions. They're looking for something that will give meaning and purpose to their life. As a CCO missionary, my desire is that university students come to know that it is Jesus and a relationship with him that will bring the greatest fulfillment and meaning to their life. As CCO missionaries, our desire is that students be confident in their call to bring Christ to others, whatever their career may be, and that they know they can be leaders in the renewal of the world. CCO's second tenet is the gospel, clear and simple. One of the things that CCO does on campus is running small group faith studies. The first of these is called the Discovery Faith Study. At university, we have a tendency to make a lot of things really complex and delve into just theories and ideas. And, but, but really, some things are very, very simple. And uh, the Discovery Study just outlines for students the, basic, the basics of the Catholic faith, um, that we're created for a relationship with God, that this relationship is severed by our sin, that Jesus came to restore it, and that we can live in the fullness of that relationship. We just have to make the choice to do so. Through CCO Faith Studies, I've really grown in my relationship with God, and that has given me a really solid foundation for exploring some of the issues that Catholics face in the world today. But it all starts with that clear and simple message of God's love. Something that struck me right away about the CCO missionaries at Queen's is that they gave me their full attention. They lived in the present moment, catering to the needs of the students in front of them. Pope Benedict XVI said that the apostles were not sent out to proclaim an idea, but to witness to a person, and that like the apostles, we too can have a true personal experience of the presence of our risen Lord. Through one-on-one -on -one training with one of the missionaries, I've had the opportunity to lead the Discovery Faith Study, and this has made the faith that much more tangible and real for me. When witnessing to Jesus in the present moment, just by giving our full attention to that one person, we begin to experience God's love for us in a new and exciting way. CCO's fourth tenet is uh, having the heart for the whole world. So CCO's focus on, uh, on leadership doesn't only stop on campuses, but extends to the whole world. Uh, as university students, we're in the great position to go out and impact the world, make a difference out there in people's lives. CCO has really helped me to realize that with any gifts that you have, it's important to share that. And with the gift of faith, that's exactly what we're called to do. Uh, wherever we are in the world, uh, we're called to be a witness of Christ's love, to, to reach out and help people out. At the, at the end of Matthew's Gospel, whenever Jesus sends out his disciples to evangelize the whole world, he tells them, and remember, I will be with you always, till the end of time. In that, how can you not rejoice with the fact that Jesus is, is with you wherever you are in the world and wherever you go, and he loves you. CCO's fifth tenet is having great expectations. Starting at Queen's in 2007, at the same time that CCO arrived in Kingston, was uh, given me a great chance to see the movement grow in the city and to see my own development beside that. I know when I started, I was pretty reluctant to get involved and not always wanting to be... Uh, you know, jumping right into things, but the missionaries had a great hope and saw beyond the, uh, the kid who was just sometimes coming to events and maybe, maybe participating and saw that I had a potential to become a leader for the youth on this campus. Through their great expectations with me, I was able to 
grow in my own faith and to be able to share it with other people the way that they shared it with me. And I've just been so blessed to have this opportunity. It's amazing to see the work that CCO has done in Kingston and, and across Canada and to know the beauty of all the potential that God sees in all the young people that they work. Seeing this, I know that God has incredible plans for the future that I want to be a part of. And I'm confident as I prepare to be a full-time missionary myself that he has great things in store for me too. Through what we give him, I know that God will do immeasurably more than what we can ask or imagine. I want to be a nurse for the renewal of the world. I want to be a teacher for the renewal of the world. I want to be a teacher for the renewal of the world. I want to be an engineer for the renewal of the world. Je veux être un ingénieur pour le renouveau du monde. I want to be a missionary for the renewal of the world. There's a time to die.